I want to continue a little bit with the scanning process because it gets a little more complicated with certain types of film. I have a old APS film and what it did, it came in packets. I think I've shown you the packet before, but it's like this. And the pictures are like panorama size. Uh, they're, like, they're like this. All of the pictures that you take. Let me see if I can... I guess I'm pointing at the wrong place. This is what they're like. And so the film for this is not like a 35 millimeter film. It's a special cartridge and looks like this. Looks like a roll of film. And what you have to do is you have to break it open. So it takes a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. And let's see if I can find it. So basically, I'm going to move a little bit slowly if I can. So you, you have to... Uh, Put your hand, put something in this little slot and turn it. And there's a little window in there. And you kind of hold it open and get some pliers and squeeze in there. And you break open the cartridge. And after it's bent a little bit, then I'll have to, then I'll stick the pliers in there to pry if I can. Yeah, there it is. So, pry it open, and inside is not a film, but it's, it's a developed film. And let's see if I can finish taking this out. Uh, I've had more luck on some of the earlier ones. But anyway, there's about... 25 exposures, I guess, in here. And what you do is you grab the end of this and you pull the film out. I can do this, maybe I can grab it with the pliers. Probably shouldn't touch it, but I am anyway. You pull the film out and it's already, it's already developed. And what you normally would do is you get a little sheet inside the packet that has an example of all the film that's on the sheet on the uh, on there. This looks like eh, I guess I don't have one here. Maybe one of the other packages have it. Let's see. So it has. A sheet, and what you would do is you'd send, you'd send the uh, sheet, or you'd you'd mark which pictures you wanted from one to twenty-five, or one to yeah, one to twenty-five, and then you'd send that roll of neg of developed film that I just opened up back to the company, and they would produce some films. Now, what I've done here is I had to buy a special film holder. And what I do is I cut that film off into strips of six negatives. And I'll pause this for a few minutes and see if I can go to the next step. So, uh, let's see. Pause. How am I going to do that? I'm going to pause. So I'm going to take this little holder and I'm going to slip it into the slide tray and it goes in just one of these slots where the 35 millimeter goes and you slip it into the scanner and then you do a scan just as before okay it's kind of screwy let's see let me pause this a second again Okay, so now I've got uh, I've got the recording going. Let's see if this is working. <sighs> so I'm hoping to catch. Uh, let's see here. 
Okay, I guess I'm recording. So I've scanned the film. Let me do this again. So there's the film. It's in the tray. And what I have to do is I have to take my cursor and highlight the portion of the film that I want to scan. It's a little tricky. And you kind of have to move the cursor to fit. And you have to take each of these six little pieces of film and highlight them. Uh, a little tricky. And then I'll, what I'll need to do is crop the film later on probably. But you, you go ahead and highlight each of these things, you know, using your cursor. You go ahead and hide them, highlight them. And then after you've highlighted the six films, then you scan this. So I'm going to scan, but I'm going to pause for a minute. And then I'll resume. So the scanner is going to start scanning. And let's see what I can do here. Wrong at all to scan. And so here are the pictures after the scanning is done. The pictures were put in. I named them 1999. It was my mom's 80th birthday. And I'll do a quick look at some of these. So there's a quick look, and this is what these pictures look like. And as you can see, I need to crop them. The quality isn't very good. And I've, I've scanned quite a few of these, even though I'm scanning at high resolution. And you can see I've got duplicates here. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, just to show you one more time how Gemini works, I'll put all these in a folder. And this is... This is something that I haven't talked about before too much, but I'll highlight all of those. And I, I could, one of the things that I could do is I could rename all of those. So this is something that's a little bit new. So if I right click on the mouse and I say rename, I'll say instead, of, I'm going to replace text. So instead of 80th, I'll just say 80BD. So I'm going to change 80th. I'll just change the TH to BD. So capital B, capital D. And what's going to happen is it's going to rename all of those pictures. So now see they have 80th BD. And another thing that I've said earlier is I've been putting these in the folder. So I'm going to right click again. And I'm going to take a new folder with those 24 items. And I'm going to name it 1999. Now, you saw that there were some probably duplicate pictures. So I'm going to illustrate the Gemini software again. Let's see if it will identify duplicates. So I'm going to put Gemini over here. And I'm going to drop that folder in here. And I'm going to scan for duplicates. There may, may not be out. It said there, there were 54. And it says 59 megabytes. So then it wants me to review them. So you see each of these pictures that are duplicates, it's recognized them even though they have different names. So what I'll do is I just will arbitrarily take, I'll, let's take the, let's see, the second one and delete it. So I'll just go down and take the second one of the pictures in each one of these, and I'll click by them. Slide this up a little bit more. Scroll down. Now sometimes it'll do it automatically. It'll just say, but but it's it, they're listed, and you can tell as I click on each of the ones, pick each of these pictures, they are roughly identical. Maybe the borders are a little different. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, anyway. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to remove them. So I'm going to take all of the ones that I've checked and I'm going to remove them. And then I can start all over again if there's anything else in there. And I, there's nothing else in that folder. So if I wanted to scan through another folder, Jim and I would be ready. So I'm going to quit that right now. And this will be the end of this recording. So... What I wanted to illustrate were the three things. The first thing was 
how to highlight the pictures and after I put them into this little slide, slide uh, scanner. Uh, I also put them all in a folder. Here's some other ones from 2000. I've got another folder I can make so I could highlight all of those. And I could, instead of saying Christmas, let me, let me rename it for December instead of Christmas. And I'll, I'll right click, rename. And so everywhere I see Christmas, I'll just write December. And then rename. So you'll see all of these that were Christmas before is renamed. I'll right click again. They're all highlighted. I'll right click again. And I'll have a folder with those selected items. And that folder I'll call 2000. And just for the heck of it, let me get Gemini out again. And if I bring Gemini up, and if I drag that folder of 2000 into Gemini, and close this to get a scan for duplicates, there were none. So it says start over on the next folder. Okay? So that should be enough of the scanning and sort of the organizing. Uh, we'll continue from this. Let's hope it worked.